Hi, and welcome back to Bloxy. Today we are going to dive in deep with the account header element that Bloxy offers. With this super jammed, powerful feature, you can let your visitors or clients log in right onto your website, while also maintaining the security that you expect. You'll see what we mean by this in a short while. Before getting started, let's quickly check out how the account element is in its default state, as we're pretty confident that we've selected the right set of options to get quickly started with. As you can see, the account element will let you quickly log in using your username, email, and password combination. It will also give you the ability to seamlessly reset your password in case you've forgotten it without breaking your concentration. Okay, so to get started, we jump into the customizer and add the account element onto one of the header rows. Going into its settings will reveal an important choice, the logged in or out states. This is because the account element has two states, one when a person is logged in and two when they're not. In this case, you might want to configure these independently because the element offers you many flows that you can present to your users. The logged out state lets you define what kind of action will be taken when the user clicks the first time on it. You can display a beautifully crafted modal dialog box, a choice to direct users to a custom created page or send your users to the built-in account page if you have WooCommerce installed. We'll check out some interesting gems about the modal in a short while. The logged in state lets you direct your current customers to whatever place you might want, such as the WordPress profile page, the WordPress dashboard, the WooCommerce account page, or even a brand new logout option that lets your visitors quickly end their session and be on their way. We won't go into detail on how to configure the other customization settings as they have been already covered in our documentation articles and tutorial videos here on our YouTube channel. Now that we're done with the customizer, we will probably need to enable new user registrations on our site. A quick trip into our WordPress general settings, a checkbox later, and we can tick this box off our list as well. Don't forget to decide what kind of account will be automatically created when a new user signs up for your website. It will all depend on what kind of website you're running. Right, so far, the basic setup is done. We can verify this by logging out, then displaying the account dialog box. Notice the settings that are reflected here. There's a new sign up tab that lets your users create a new account. But the default behavior is to inherit the standard WordPress flow of registering an account. The user inputs their email address and they get an email to complete registration. Sure, it is an OK flow, but this could be made much easier. Remember that we've talked about some Bloxy gems that we have hidden inside? Yep. You also have the ability to control the registration form from WooCommerce. This comes in really handy in simplifying the flow that the users have to take in creating a new account. We quickly re-log in and check out some settings. Go back to our dashboard and then Woo Settings pane. Choose the Accounts and Privacy tab and all the relevant options are presented here. For example, we can untick these two checkboxes, which will let our users decide upon their own username and password when registering their new account. Save the changes and let's check out the new flow. As expected, the new fields are displayed and the user can enter their own personal details. Great, we've noted down the built-in functionality so far, but the Bloxy gems don't stop here. For Bloxy Pro, we have even more to offer. We have partnered with some plugin developers to have their solutions work great within our account modal. For example, you can use the next end social login plugin to let your users log in or register using their social accounts, as many prefer this option. There's also support for CAPTCHA plugins, such as CAPTCHA 4WP and WordFence. Unfortunately, we won't be able to cover the configuration of those plugins, 
but we can take a quick peek at them. Let's re-login for the last time and enable these plugins. Click around and done. Log out and then click on the account element. Voila! Notice the two new integrations are working perfectly. Well, that's pretty much it. The account functionality from Bloxy has even more tricks up its sleeve, such as hiding the login endpoints using the WPS Hide Login plugin. But for those, we'll invite you to check out our documentation and the plugins respectively. As usual, if you have any questions or simply just want to talk to us, drop by creativethemes.com and check out the help section. We'll be ready. Until next time, take care.